Hey friends, it's Scott Curcio from Beard and Warner Real Estate in Chicago. It's Monday Market Minute time. It is March 23rd. Of course, we are in the throes of the uh, coronavirus pandemic. And the number one most asked question I have been getting the last couple of days, actually this last week, is how is it impacting real estate in Chicago? And it's kind of a twofold answer. The first is we're still getting calls. We've had four different folks reach out over the last few days that are looking to make a move, uh, which might seem a little counterintuitive, right? We're in the middle of this global pandemic. What are people doing talking about this? But I think it makes sense. We don't have anything else to talk about right now. We're stuck in our homes. What can we do? We can be online. We can maybe think about, hmm, I've been meaning to do a, B, C in my life, and maybe now's the time to do it. So I think it's motivating people. Um, across the board, though, what we're seeing is um, uh, some major changes. We've completely changed uh, and updated our process through this. So we're not doing any in-person showings or open houses. Everything is being done virtually until further notice. That means we're not meeting a buyer to take a look at a property. Everything is through a video walkthrough that we've shot um, uh, of all of our properties, either those that are on the market or coming soon. And we've been delivering those out there um, to the public. Uh, just looking at my notes here. Um, we're also pushing back our listing dates. Uh, we're hearing you know, things that we're gonna list next week are pushing out two, three, four weeks right now and just being privately marketed as a coming soon property. Um, we're also, every, we have an inspection uh, today and the inspection company called said, hey, we wanna make sure that only essential people in, like no, nobody from the seller side, just the buyers, just their agent. So we're seeing that across the board. We're taking steps to go through, still get those properties ready, get their lights on, get all the doors open so nobody has to touch anything, wiping down all the doorknobs, wiping down all the uh, light, uh, light switches and such. So it's been certainly a major change to the way we do business, but adjusting as we can. Um, we've all been working pretty much remotely. Uh, interestingly enough, in New York, they're only allowing brokers to do anything they can do from work from home. So they can't do anything out of the house. Um, and it's kind of where we need it to be right now as a society. The, we have a lot of friends and colleagues and clients that are in the public health and the medical field. And this is serious. It is as serious as they're saying. And a lot of the things they're saying, it's actually, they're sugarcoating a lot. So from my standpoint, it is a big deal. Stay at home. Um, I think that was all I had this week. So not the, kind of a little bit of a moribund uh, update, but giving you some real time as to what's going on. We're still taking calls. We're still helping clients and uh, moving through this as best we can. Uh, this was much longer than a minute this week. So it's on IGTV and uh, we'll catch up with you next week.